Hi there, I'm Pico. Welcome back to my channel. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, we'll be setting up a Python development environment on Windows where Visual Studio Code will be the primary code editor. We'll do everything together step-by-step. -step. We'll start out by downloading Visual Studio Code, then we'll install Python and configure it. After that, we'll download an essential extension, and then I'll show you how to quickly set up virtual environments. Let's get to it. Let's begin by downloading Visual Studio Code. I'm just going to Google Visual Studio Code Download and click on the first link. So I'm running Windows on this PC. So I'll click on the Windows installer. It's downloading. Okay, here it is in my downloads directory. I'll just double click. Okay, I accept the agreement. I'm going to select add open with code action to Windows Explorer file context menu and also open with code action to Windows Explorer directory context menu. Okay, and then I'll hit next and uh, install. Okay, we've just installed Visual Studio Code. Now let's install Python. Installing Python differs from operating system to operating system. For Windows, you can just use the installer on python.org slash downloads. I'm going to click on download Python 3.13.3, which is currently the latest version for Windows. Okay, so now the installer was downloaded. I'm gonna double click on it. So the first thing you should remember to do if you want to save yourself tons of headaches later is select at python.exe to path. If you don't do this, your system won't know where Python is. So later on, when you try to run commands in terminal, you're gonna get an error. So make sure to select this. And uh, I'm going to select use admin privileges when installing py.exe because I would later want to select that I want Python to be available for all users on this computer. I'm going to click on customize installation because there are some features that we're not gonna need. For example, we're not going to need documentations, at least I won't because I just check the documentation online so I don't need offline documentation. Of course, we're gonna need pip so that we can install Python packages we're not going to need a development environment because we're setting up our own. We'll be using Visual Studio Code, so I'm going to uncheck this box. Python test suit, we're also not going to need it. We'll, we'll need PyLauncher for all users. Now let's hit next. And I'm going to select the first option, which is install Python 3.13 for all users because I have multiple users on this computer and uh, I'd like all of them to have access to Python. I'll leave everything else as is and just hit install. Okay, now it's installing. While it installs, I'd like to ask you to hit the like button if you're enjoying this content. And if you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. Setup was successful. So let's go to Visual Studio Code and let's make sure that Python is installed and our terminal can find it. So let's open terminal. Uh, the shortcut is control J or control and backtick. So um, I'll just type pi dash dash version and hit enter. Python 3.13.3 was found. Let's try to run some code. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a directory on my desktop. Let's just call it pi testing or whatever. Okay, now let's open the directory in Visual Studio Code. So let's right click and let's click on show more options and click on open with code. Okay, now let's create a file and call it main.py. Okay, so you see over here, 
we got a message from Visual Studio Code because it knows we'll be coding in Python. It's asking if we want to install the recommended Python extension from Microsoft for the Python language. We will be installing it, but before we do, let's see how it is to run code without it. So how about we write a very, very simple script. Let's write print hello world and then press control S in order to save it because if we don't, we'll have an issue running it. So let's save control S to save. Now let's fire up terminal with the, sh the keyboard shortcut control J or control back tick and to run main.py we'll type pi main.py. Alrighty, now we want to install the extension, but before we do, I feel like my camera is covering something that will appear and is important, so I should move it. Okay, look here, there's nothing, right? Now let's install this recommended extension. It's installing. Let's go to main.py and look over here. Something is bound to appear. Yay, you see? A play button. Now, instead of typing pi and the name of the file we want to run, we could just click this button and Visual Studio Code will run our Python file, which is neat. Cool, right? Okay, um, this extension also comes with Many other features, including IntelliSense, which provides smart suggestions. For example, let's try to print something again. You see, we got suggestions, print, nice. Okay, now let's print, cool. <laughs> and let's hit the play button, ta-da. Okay, now let me show you how easy it is to set up virtual environments in Visual Studio Code. To create a virtual environment very, very easily, we can open the command palette with a keyboard shortcut Control Shift P and search for Python select interpreter. Here it is. Okay, and then we can click create virtual environment. We could choose between Venv or Conda. We'll pick Venv and then we'll select our interpreter's path. Okay, see Venv was created for us or rather it's still creating, being created, I mean. <laughs> it's taking care of upgrading PIP for us as well. And now it activated then for us. So another cool thing that the extension that we've installed does is it automatically detects Python interpreters and it also detects virtual environments in the workplace folder. So for example, let's close Visual Studio Code right now. And to check if Visual Studio Code will automatically detect the virtual environment, let's open the directory again in Visual Studio Code. All right. Okay, let's look here at the bottom right corner. Right now it says Python. I don't see anything regarding Venv. Oh, now I see it. It found Venv and it activated which is cool. We've done it. We've set up the Python development environment. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have, please don't forget to give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye.